so today we're going to talk about the punches that we use in Taekwondo tool. So punches appear in all patterns from Chonji all the way up to Tongil. So if you can make the punches look good, crisp, sharp and correct, then obviously it's going to be uh, transpiring throughout the whole of your Taekwondo patterns. Okay, so hopefully you have all done the basic punching where we have one hand on hip, one hand outstretched and we're changing the arms. Okay, the important thing to remember when you're doing any of the te Taekwondo techniques, with very few exceptions, is that everything needs to finish at exactly the same time. So if you were stepping into a punch as your foot finishes the step, that is when both hands would finish in their correct position, one outstretched and one on the hip. Okay, so I'm going to show you the upper body for basic punching and then hopefully I'm going to show you then how we use it in different stances, starting with parallel stance, sitting stance, walking stance. Okay, so the start position would be hand on hip, one hand extended, punch into the centre of the body. Think of a three count, so on count number one we relax, we relax both hands and the knees slightly bend as well. So it goes one and then on number two we pull back and lift up and three we drop down for that punch. So it's relax forwards, up and back, punch. So you can think of this as a, as a three system count, one, two, three, or you can think of it as forwards, backwards, punch. But because I'm in parallel stance, I'm trying to generate my body mass, my movement, so I'm not just using my arms, I'm trying to use my whole body to generate more power, that I relax it, I pull back and lift up, ready to fire, and then drop in that body weight down as the punch extends. If you can try and think how somebody would throw a ball, a cricket ball or a tennis ball, they wouldn't start in this position, run and then just throw it. You watch slow motion, professional thrower, somebody throws quite far, even a javelin, they come forwards, they pull back and then they throw. Okay, so the same with the Taekwondo punch, We're trying to generate as much power as we can. Remember the example where we can then shortcut it because we know where our body should be at certain points. So we relax in, knees and arms, pulling back, lifting up, and punch. Okay, so if you can practice this movement, ideally looking at yourself in the mirror, and try and get used to doing this, this movement, even when you're stepping and punching, is going to be coming in throughout the whole of your Taekwondo practice. So lesson number one is just to relax the hand forward slightly. Lift up and pull back and punch two. Okay, it may seem simple, you may be already doing this, but if you're not already doing this when you punch, spend a lot of time looking at yourself in the mirror, getting this technique good, and then build up speed. Make it so it feels natural over and over and over again. Lots of repetition. Once you've got the upper body and the punching, then you can change the lower body, which changes several times depending on what stance. If I'm in parallel stance, I'm lifting up on my toes, dropping down to do the punch. If I'm in a sitting stance, I'm using my knees. The heels stay flat and I'm lifting up and down, just using my knees. And if I'm in walking stance, I'm doing the same, but on the move. Okay, but the important part to remember in this first session on Taekwondo Factory is forwards, backwards, punch. Even if you take out the knee spring and just work on the hand positions for this. Get this over and over and over so it becomes a natural movement to punch this way. Thank you.